How you doing? Welcome to Pencil Art. According to Michael Butkus, uh, we have the half and the quarter, and then each one of those are halved on the uh, facial uh, dimensions for the eyes, the nose, the, the lower part of the nose, and the lower part of the lip. So uh, that's for children. And then it's a little bit closer together for older men, and uh, but it's still a half and a quarter for the nose and the eyes, and the eyebrows and the eyes will be a little bit closer together. If we uh, flip, this is from the uh, the art of drawing. So. Uh, the uh, other thing is from Mr. Powell, which I received an email from him, and I gave him a nice note. I, I learned a lot from this. So, uh, on the head shape and the uh, eye line, head width, so we can uh, actually get our dimensions and a third and a third for the frontal front part of the skull to. The uh, about right here to the temple, and then a third, another third from the temple, the top of the temple to the front of the ear, and then a third goes back here to uh, the back of the head to the front of the ear. Approximately, this is probably a little bit more than a third, but. For all dimensions, that's a general average. Uh, we have the egg shape here, and uh, the head length, and the eye line. And the, as you can see, the eye line, as uh, most people uh, protest on that, or not protest, I'm sorry, <laughs> profess on that, is uh, the Head, head width in the eye line is right in line with the top of the ear and that would be fairly correct and from here to the front of the ear is approximately two-thirds so that that's William F. Powell's uh, version of it and then uh, You have the skull inside the human head, and he has a few other illustrations there. You have eyes, woman in profile, young man in profile, an older man in profile, and a boy, girl, and boy in profile. Then we get to the body, and the basic uh, skeleton of the body, right here and then we can uh, figure out the chest and what have you there uh, they, he goes into hands and feet Mr. Paul does and then we have figures in action and we have the basic uh, head heights uh, of course uh, there's one head height and one head height so one, two, three, four, five, six. Where you're, you're usually eight head heights. The body should be eight head heights from the floor or from wherever to the top of their head. Uh, and then when we get into our figure drawing, our basic stick figure, and then we have our. Uh, basic components are ovals and joints and as you notice he's starting to put in circles and if you notice the hands there and then we of course we have the block figure right there and then we can make our quick sketch 
like that and I've proven that one and uh, that's in my pictures on Facebook then if we go over here we have our uh, two basic lines so like this is for a picture and usually the line goes towards the leg that we're standing on and then here's a batter and it's one simple line so if you did this one he did two lines two lines one there and one there because the front weight is all on the front so when we get into uh, figures in action we can uh, we can basically we can basically uh, figure out our quick dimension here and you notice he's putting little circles right where the joints are and uh, we can just from this we can get a stick figure from there to there and we can actually uh, flesh out as they say the uh, the rest of it and get the general outline and then once you get the outline you flesh it out there get the basic outline and then we can complete our drawing <laughs> And then, of course, portraying children. So, uh, when we get out to that, and it's good for this one, uh, you know, we just I just did a straight line. You look on my pictures, just straight line right down. And for the young boy, For the young boy, we I simply just went straight down. So that's all for that. The next uh, thing is that mannequin that I have, and here he is, or she is, it's a unisex. And that, again, is from uh, Dealer and Rowney at Walmart. Artist mannequin. And I'm starting to... Uh, draw on this uh, and try to get a bait. Alright, so I have the head and the head is probably a little bit taller than needed to be. And then we have the, uh, the eyebrows. It's really difficult to uh, draw this at the same time and then try to explain what I'm doing so if I stop in mid-sentence, it's because it's my right side of my brain is thinking. And uh, it's difficult to speak, so hopefully just watch. And that's just a... Uh, then we have... The neck. And then... The shoulder. So I basically had that like that, and uh, this is Paul in the art of drawing notes about the cylinders and the circles and ovals for the joints and the arms. We'll just continue outlining the figure and move forward. And he, uh, when they say heroic, this is what he's talking about heroic. When we make the features a little bit bigger, but we need tame it down a little so 
it's in proportion and then we can just do our little like that and then sketch that there and then always there's always a little at every joint and then we can just uh, we'll finish with the hands on this and it makes it really easy to draw the hands this way you don't really have to concentrate too hard on it and that helps with foreshortening It almost draws itself and that's about right because when I'm viewing viewing this from here viewing this from here I have it just maybe a little bit longer on the uh, on the hand can do do that and then over here we're going to do the same thing And we're going to do a little... Uh, the elbow in the forearm cylinder, the elbow joint in the forearm cylinder are a little bit shorter. Getting that line is just... Getting the foreshortened lines are difficult. And this is why we practice... With mannequins. So we can get our... Proportions correct. A little bigger on our oval. And then we can go down and do our... The hand. Back. Back of the hand. And then a little bit like that. And that always ends up right there. The style of hands that are on the mannequin make them really easy to draw. And there you go. Now if I were to shade this, starting at the head, as you can see, from right here, and it is an ob a partial circle, and we have a little bit like that. And that's shaded like that, almost like a helmet. And then this is shaded a little bit, not a lot, and just shaded. Then here on the neck, that's shaded. And then if you notice right here, That's shaded right there, lightly, and then this is shaded even darker, right there. There's a little light and little shade there, and then shaded there. get to the forearm shade a little bit more there and then kind of an angle right like that just like that and if I were to shade this down here Notice there's a dark line right there, and it goes like that. And then the rest of it is lightly shaded. We actually did it correctly. 
this would be shaded like that and this would be shaded like that If we blended all that out, that would uh, come out just about right, so. And that's uh, basically how you use a uh, figure drawing, an art mannequin. And you can uh, try it at home. Have fun with pencil art. Talk to you later. Okay, what I have here is a Cam Kicks clamp mount by EcoFused, and it just it's for GoPro Hero 4 or a compact camera, and I bought it. And uh, during my video, I have uh, the main screen is uh, blanked out simply because I was playing around with this thing and I was trying to match up my videos, and my camera shut off. So, uh, luckily I had my other camera going, so it wasn't uh, too much of a catastrophe, but that's what I was playing. But this thing is fairly awesome, and uh, works really well. And that's, uh, I got that through Amazon.com, and that's Ecofused. This uh, Prismacolor Premier Pencil Sharpener that uh, I was talking about, I bought that out through Amazon.com. And that's sold by Amazon.com and uh, a relatively inexpensive price. So uh, if you pick one of those up and you have Prismacolors, then by all means pick it up. It's uh, fairly cheap. Uh, in my Sony camera, I have a Pro Duo and I bought that off a, of, it's a 4 gigabyte and that's by uh, Blue Proton. And once again, it's Amazon.com. Uh, the uh, Pro Art 30 sheets uh, by Strathmore color pencil 30 sheets uh, for color pencil paper. Uh, that is uh, I bought that through Hyatt's. Uh, the Hi Hyatt's All Things Creative and through Amazon.com. And of course, I bought that mannequin that. Uh, keep referring to